Hello guys, we're going to talk about the solution of a complex gas uh, power plant. This is the same uh, problem that we saw in class, so we are going to show the complete solution. First of all, we are going to start with our diagram. And in the diagram, we are indicating uh, all the components, the two compressors, and uh, two turbines, the reheat section, and the heat section, and the um, regenerator. Uh, first of all, the problem doesn't only tell us that P1 is 100 kilopascal, and total pressure, uh, the uh, difference that the P4 is 1200. But it doesn't tell us what is the intermediate pressure. So we don't know which uh, the value of P2. But we know that in order to have the maximum efficiency, P2 over P1 should be equal to P4 over P3. And uh, P6 over P7 should be equal to P8 over P9. If we solve this, P2 will be the square root of P1 times P4. And this will be the same as 346.4 kilopascal. So P2 will be equal to P3 and should be equal to P7 and P8. Also P1 equals P9, 100 kilopascal. And um, P4 equals P5 equals P6. So we know all the pressures. We're starting from the top. We know the backward ratio will be the work of the turbine, the work of the compressor over the work of the turbine. This time we have two turbines and two compressors. Later on we are going to find out this value. And the efficiency notice that this work of the turbine we already find in the back ratio, same for the work of the compressor and the heat in is the summation of the heat, the heater, and the reheater. Now, applying first law, we can find um, the following expressions. If you don't remember um, how do we got this expression, go back into your notes or perform a first law analysis for each of the compressors, starting from the general expression and eliminating uh, what is not needed. We can notice that uh, we need to find state 5, and in order to find state 5, when I use the definition of uh, effectiveness, and effectiveness uh, can be computed as actual heat, H5 minus H or A, divided by the uh, maximum heat, H9A minus H4A. And this value is 0.75. From here, we can get value of H5. Um, so we already solved. This is the analysis. Next, we're going to uh, find out each state. So finding each state. Finding each state. We're going to use table A17 or the table that you have in your uh, in, in Blackboard to do the interpolations. So we start with state one. We know that chapter one is equal to 300 Kelvin. From there we can get enthalpy one, 319 kilojoules per kilogram, and we can get PR one. PR one is 1.386. Now, to get state 2s, we use the psychometric, uh, the isotropic process. Isotropic process, you can see it here, 
and we solve for PR2. So PR2 is 4.801. By interpolation, we can find H2, and since we use an isentropic process, is H2S equal 428.18.17 kilojoules per kilogram. Now, since we have an isentropic efficiency of the compressor, it can be defined as H2S minus H1, H2A minus H1 equal to 0.8. By solving this, we can get that H2A 460.17 kilojoules per kilogram. Um, repeating this for a state tree, we know the temperature tree is 350K, so H3 equals 350.49 kilojoules per kilogram. And PR3 is 2.37, no units, remember. So now we're going to find out state 4S. And to do that, again, we'll start with our isentropic relation. So this, uh, using the same isentropic relation, we get a value of PR4 of 8.241. So by interpolation, you can find that H4S, since we use isentropic expression, is 500. 0 0.043. 0 0.04 is okay. Using the same definition of the isentropic uh, compressor, we can get that H4A is equal to 537.9431 kilojoules per kilogram. We're going to skip state 5, we get state 9, and this comes from the definition of uh, effectiveness. We need to find H9 in order to get H5. So we'll start with state 6. On state 6, we know that the, the temperature is 1400 Kelvin. From there, we can get H4 to be equal to 1515.42. And PR4, sorry, this is 6. PR6 is 450.5. Again, no uh, units. We know that uh, to get states. 7s, we're going to use again our isentropic process. So here we have our um, isentropic relations. Uh, we are using exactly the same as we did uh, for the compressor, and we already captured that P7 is the same as P3, 346.4, that gives us a PR of 130.5. Uh, by interpolation, we get uh, 1082.88 kilojoules per kilogram. And now to get state 8, 7a, uh, in order to get the actual state, that is 7a, we use the um, definition of the isentropic efficiency of the turbine to be H6, and uh, by solving to H7, uh, H7a, We got 1069.97. Remember that the efficiency of the turbine again is 0.8. So we can repeat the same procedure for uh, the second turbine. So we uh, start by the, uh, our isentropic relation. We solve to get PR9 to be 95.25. 52, 3, and then by interpolation we find 
the value of H N, uh, H9S. Using the definition of the isentropic efficiency for the turbine, and knowing that the value is 0.8, we can get the value of our H9A. Now we have H H99, so we can come back here to find uh, the value of state 5. So in order to find state 5, we remember that the effectiveness is the actual heat that we are getting divided by the maximum heat that we could get. We know that this is 0.75. So solving for uh, H5, we get that H5 has a value of 941.49 kilojoules per kilogram. With this, we have all our states, and we can go back and substitute in our first uh, slide. So you you can do all the math and just putting uh, the total values. So as we mentioned, we do you can do all the math because you know the values. And these are the individual values for the compressor work one and two. So the total compressor work will be 346.92. We can also get the total turbine work to be 665.75. And the total value of Q in to be 840 800.43. So if we substitute in these expressions, we get that the bagel ratio is uh, 52.11. In order to get the uh, efficiency, we already compute the total heat in, but we don't have the network, which will be the difference between work of the turbine and work of the compressor, just as expressed here. And uh, this value, it's going to be 318.83. This gives us an efficiency of 39.83%. Notice that uh, the values we got are very close for the heat in not the same for the efficiency we're going to stick to our numbers since uh, buckle ratio knows that means that we have uh, right the q the work net and the work of the turbine and the work of the compressor same for the network so uh, since we know that our calculation of heat in is correct we're going to stick with our value of 39 Okay, guys, I hope that this is clear and that you um, understand how to analyze these cycles. Thank you very much.